Hello everybody, this is your boy. Coming at you with a video like what I said earlier in the year when I bought this watch. This is, this is, I'm, 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 I'm showing you guys today. Cause this is now the one month anniversary of this watch. Actually, it's two days behind because I had to work. So I wasn't able to make the video only at the time. So now since I got the time, I can go ahead and do this video and get it done for you guys so you can give me your honest opinion about the iWatch Ultra. But before I get right into it, please comment, like, share, subscribe, notification bell on top, and give me that thumbs up because that's what matters to me the most. That gets my content all over social media, also on YouTube land for your enjoying pleasure, and please hit the notification bell like I said in the video. All right. Let's get right into it. Okay. Like I said, I celebrated one month anniversary of this, this Apple Watch series, the Apple Watch Ultra. Now, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said series. Apple Watch Ultra. That's what this is. And this watch is by far the most greatest watch Apple has ever invented in their life. What made them come up with this watch? I don't know. All I know is that this watch is beautiful. It is magnificent. It's a pure screen. And I'm going to get to all of the buttons on this watch. And I'm going to do it now so you guys know exactly what I'm going to do before I get right into it. Let's go right now. Okay, as you can see, that is the, that's the bezel of the watch, which you move to locate the watch. And I mean, I'm not locate the watch, which you move on the face of the watch um apps wise to move the watch up and down that's what this is for if you got any apps on your phone um that you're using this bezel rotates and you can use it to move apps in place of the watch if you want to go ahead and try it out if you got the apple iWatch 8 or if you got the uh, uh um ultra which i'm playing now and this is the um the voice that hole right there that at the hole for 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 in for in talk. If you're talking if you're in talking from someone on the inside, that's what this is for. Um this is the um the button that that, that you to get to the apps and then you know, and right on the back right here this is the um this is the uh, um the um I forget what it's called but it, it's kind of a bezel not a bezel I'm sorry why am I saying bezel all the time I meant this is what it's you for your EKG your um blood oxygen which you put this is it's actually it's actually for, for the blood oxygen really but it does much more than that it um reads the um blood oxygen like i just said it reads your ekg it reads your heart rate um all the above this is what it's used for a green light comes on in the middle of the phone i mean the middle of this um this is a circular thing here to let you know that the watch is in operational. I can't do it right now because the watch is no longer on my wrist, so it's not going to work. And but if I flip it over on the other side, it, it'll activate it. Right now, it's not that way because I don't got it that particular it got it that way at this moment. This watch is well put together. It's actually a titanium surround, a titanium case around the watch. And right here is also the um the talkative side that you use to, to communicate the orange button i'll get to that later in the video and that's the speaker where if you talk to someone you can hear them from right here from this side here this watch is well built it's titanium all the way around and it has a it, it, it is major heavy this, this watch has some weight to it this is the first watch that i actually bought it actually has this much weight to it uh, i want to say it's about four or five grams we all know titanium is heavy it has a lot of it has weight to it because if you compare this weight to the Series 5, 6, and 7, 8, they ain't going to weight no, no heavier than, than this watch here alone. And this and this display is actually supposed to be a, 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 a indestructible crystal display, which means that it can't break. I've seen videos of this people of this watch where people have had this watch laying on, 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 on concrete. They've had it laying in rocky locations and they have had big dump trucks trucks and cars run over this watch i they even had it where a truck was standing on the watch for a long period of time i mean the the, the, the truck tire went completely on the screen of this watch and when after they reviewed it 
It had no marks on the screen itself, but it had a few nicks and knacks around the, the titanium of the watch itself. But the but but the but the dents were so small, it it would take a naked eye to actually see the dents. So you really had to magnify the dents and the marks on this watch for it to for, for you to see any marks on it. That's how that's how inconsistent this watch is. That's why it costs so much. It costs it costs more than the series five, six, seven, and eight. Um, that that's currently after. Well, the five, six, seven are probably cheap, but the eight came along with this watch as well. The eight is about five or six hundred dollars, I believe. This watch here is eight hundred dollars. It says seven ninety nine, eight hundred all together with taxes. And I'm not gonna get. I'm not even gonna gonna, gonna gonna get to how it's working for me. I mean, I'm not, not working for me. I'm sorry. How. The payment is, I'm not even going to explain payment ranges. I'm not going to explain what the watch does for me so far since I've had it in this one month. And this band here kind of came up off another watch. If you guys remember, I had the, um, I had a duplicate of the Apple Ultra. And I thought it was the Apple Ultra. Come to find out, it was a duplicate of this watch. So I will. So anybody out there that um that are familiar with those duplicate watches of the of the iPhone of the iWatch Ultra, don't buy it. It ain't the real deal. Now, if you want to buy that watch, by all means, I'm not telling you what you can and can't buy. I'm just saying don't buy it if you if you prefer the Apple iWatch Ultra. Those watches are somewhere. Them watches are, are under a hundred dollars. So it ain't the real deal. And I got that fake watch. And I paid seventy five close to hundred dollars for that seventy five to hundred dollars for that watch. If you go back and check out the videos, you'll see what I mean. And I explain quite clear to each and every last one of you guys that you've seen that video. Please go back and check it out. All right, now let's go ahead and get started with the functionality of this watch. Functionality, yeah. Here we go. All right, you press the button, come on automatically, but it's not going to work unless you got the um the uh, uh, um the the the, uh, uh, um, the 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 code. So so, give me a few seconds and put the code in, and I'm bring it back to you guys in a few minutes. A few seconds. All right. Now, like I said, a few seconds. And like I said, a few seconds. A few minutes. Okay. As you can see, this is a beautiful bezel watch. This is the um the, the original display of this watch. But as you can see, it is definitely the real deal, and the screen is. Um, crystal, it's in, 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 in an interpretable crystal display. It's not a rectangle display. It's not what, it's not what it said on the box when I bought it. But it's actually a crystal hard case crystal display that can't be scratched. And so far, um, like I said, the videos explain it. It was no moss on this watch at all. You might find a few, a few light scratches, but you, but no, but no deep scratch that you can rub your hand right across it. So, um, oh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to get to that. Um, I just want to stick this display right quick. Okay, as you can see, it has four things on, on the side of top bar display. I can press the top button, and it'll get you the, um, this is the, uh, uh, um, the compass. Okay, get out of that. And you press this here. This is the ultraviolet. This is the ultraviolet, um, uh, index on the side, but it also explains the weather. See, it has all that right there. 76 degrees, 15%. So I'm sorry, 76 percent, 15 percent. That's humidity and clarity, and then it, then it gives you the the, the clear um, weather app as well. It has all the five day forecast, actually actually seven day forecast. I mean, and uh, all that is right there at your disposal. You can use your hand to, to go up and down, or you can boot that watch bezel on the side and you can move it as well because the, 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 the bezel has a haptic feedback when you move the bezel you can actually see you can actually fit it as you're moving the bezel up and down of course some of you guys that has any of the apple watches you know exactly what i mean and then you press the button you get right out of that and then take it back to the weather and as you can see i got memphis weather which is 85 percent out there now and New York where it's seventy six percent, which which is kind of cool for New York at this moment. And then you can say add city. I'm not even adding no city, so we gonna get out of that right quick. Get back to that. And CDs, 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 CDs rainbow rings. That's exactly what they are. Rings. You press that, and it get you to that right to it. These are your activity rings. 
as you can see, you can swipe that way and it give you some information right there. And you can also get to that side and it has all the awards. These are the awards. And this is the recent award, which it says uh, 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 um, 2023. And I'm not exactly sure what the yellow one means, but that's, that's what that is. And it, 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 that's what happened for me today. That's what that is. And as you can keep going down, it shows you all. It said July Challenge. That's what that is. And then it gets you some more rings. Right there. It said, it, said, it said, close your rings. You can close them out. And you can pick some rings as well. Because well, actually, these rings are ought to be picked based on your activities and what you do for the day. If you exercise, if you walk, jog, swim. It, it it does all that and so everything is calculated by memory what's going on according to your daily um routines that this is worked for you got you got your limited editions right there you got your monthly challenges and, you, and all that right there so many so many monthly challenges right? so many of them so many of them they're beautiful colored and that's the that workouts right there then you got then you got your competitions right there um, that, that, that's what this actually for. I actually like this watch. I don't think the, like I said, I don't think the, I don't, I don't think the series eight, seven or six does this. So then if you want to get out of that, you can press that there. And then here's the last but not least, I think that's the name, the compass. Let me see. Okay. That's the timers. As you can see there, it has custom timers. Then you got your one minute, your three minutes, your five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 30 minutes. Then it has your one hour and your two hours. That's what that is for. That's for custom timers. So I'm going to come on out of that. And then the button here on the side right here, you press that, it gets you to all your open apps. And this will all open. So you go you up, to, you up to your left. That's the X button. You press the up button. It, it, it'll delete the apps as you go along. And then after it does that, it says recent used apps appears here. Then it says all apps. Press all apps. And that gets you to every app that's on your phone or the watch. Cause every app that you get off the that you get out of the app store will appear on your watch. And there is activities, alarms, that's your app store, your Apple store. Most of the apps are on the iPhone, so what appears, like I said, what appears on the iPhone will appear on your watch depending on if it's made for the watch or if not. And sometimes if you have to uh, remove an app, you might have to. And once you remove the app off your phone, it will remove it off the watch. Okay, here we go. Um, audio books. Um, BR, that's a force app. Blood oxygen. Um, calendar, uh, calculator. Oh, yeah, let me show you that calculator right quick. Calculator is beautiful. Now, if you go to the series six, five, six, seven, and eight, well, the eight might have it, but the seven and the six and the five might not have this calculator app here. As you can see, this works as well as the um, calculators on your phone. If you, um, and then I got more to explain about this about this watch later in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you and talk about that later in the video. As you can see, I mean, it does everything perfectly. Eight, nine, and you press that um, divided by seven equals one twelve dot seven one four two nine. That equals all equal to. Then you press that C on the top there. It deletes all of the the numbers that you subtracted and add. Press that, and it'll take you right back to. All right, I'm going to let me go to that. I'm sorry. Be back out of that. Back out of that. Okay. Um, back to. The app door on just a few minutes. Okay, delete that, delete that, and back to the old app store. Here we go. All right, and there's your calendar. Um, uh, camera remote. Let me see the camera. Okay, the day says it says Friday. Check um, green toes. I mean, it, it has all that right there. I mean, this is magnificent, beautiful. You can go back and forth with that. These are all what goes on on, on, on my phone. It's right here on my watch, and then you press them the three dots. It says new events, uh, up, up next day list. You put you can put a list star list. You can start your day, or you can put up what next, and then it will display it. All right, we're gonna get out of that right quick. Back into the, all the apps. Here we go. Um, camera remote. Now, let me show. Let me see. 
I got to, I experimented a little bit of this. See, see how that, see, see how that pop up there? Now, now what's, now what's displaying on my, on my watch? It's displaying on the phone. And this is by far, I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. I mean, that's lovely. So I can move this watch and you can see it moving. You can use this, this watch to remote control your camera. You can't do that on the i on, on the iWatch series five, six, seven, eight. It won't allow you that. Only the iWatch Ultra can do these functions. And that's one of the reasons why I chose this watch because there's things on this watch that I can use that can't be used on other watches. And as you can see, and, 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 and see that pink timer? The pink timer is on my phone currently. And then I just press that button again, and, and, and the camera just shift. So you're going to show that on the video as well. And look at all that. Beautiful. All right, let me get out of that right quick. Back to that. There we go. See, you, you, you see, 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 see how beautiful this watch, beautiful this watch is. I mean, this watch is magnificent. And then the Siri, I'm, I'm, I'm also going to talk about the update as well later in the video. I just went to Compass a minute ago. I didn't go back to Compass. That's my contact. No way. Um... Credit One Bank, which, which two I bank with through my credit card. Cycle Tracking, Depth, Eagles at the Eagles app right there. EKG, ESPN, Find Devices. I'm not even gonna go through Find Devices because I had to redo this video and Find Devices cuts off the camera. So I'm not gonna do that. Sorry, gentlemen. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, find Items, Find People, Heart Rate, Home, Keynote, Mail, Maps. Now Maps works on, on this watch. But I activated it on the phone for it to work here on the watch. Uh, medications. It keeps in contact with the medications that, that you take currently on a daily basis. I do take medication for situations unknown. I'm not going to explain. But I don't use this because I already know my routines of, my, of the medicine I take. So I'm not even going to put that on this video. All right. Memoji. Um, uh, messages now. Messages are personal. I will not display that on this watch because it's already it's, it's already worth from my phone to my watch. So I'm not going to show that. All right, mindfulness music now. Music, I, I I haven't tried music yet. I don't know if music does work with this watch. I, I'm sure it does, but I will be all day trying to do, to, to do that. So I'm not going to work that out right now. Then that's, then that's my uh, other apps right there. I tune I. My tune radio, the news, noise, um, now playing Outlook. Outlook is an app that they use to, to the people who I work for. They use this Outlook app for uh, daily emails. Uh, Pandora is who I who, who I use a lot. My phone. I'm not gonna see that phone right there. All that. See that magnificent. I'm not. I'm not even gonna go through that. It's well with the phone, so I'm gonna get out of that. Right quick and back to the apps. Photo photos. Does not work with, work with this app, work with this watch yet. I have to activate the, the photos app on my phone for it to work here on the, on, on this um, watch. All right, podcast reminders, remote settings. I'm not going to the settings code that that'll take a little bit long to explain. Um, shortcuts, siren, sleep. Sleep keeps in contact with your sleeping at night. That's why I'm going to talk about that as well later in the video if I don't forget. There's stocks, stopwatch timers tips voice memos walkie talkie and walkie talkie I haven't tried that yet but i'm sure it works wallet weather uh that's Tory, workout world clock all right there we go as you can see this is a magnificent watch i mean this is beautiful and i'm and i'm loving it now let's go um to back to this this display here as you can as you can see i, I can print down right here and you can get to other um, watch faces with this here. I haven't, I haven't uploaded any watch faces on my, on my um, watch so far. But if I choose to, it will all display when you do this here. And I have not, um, I have not uploaded any watch faces yet. Cause you know why? Cause I've been enjoying this watch face. This watch face, I love it. It's the, it's the Wayfinder. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, watch face you type it take you right back to that if you would if you if you if you do have any if you have the any i watch the i watch um ultra or the series five six seven and eight you should you should you should be able to do that 
with your watch to get the watch fake of your desired choice. And why you have to go through the app, you not App Store. Well, the App Store does have uh, other apps that you can use to upload watch face if if you want to, but that's your choice. But if you go into the um the watch app, it have different variety of watch face that you can use for your disposal. As a few that I do like, but I'm not gonna upload these because I've because I've been enjoying this watch face. And it's beautiful. I love the way it looks. Has the orange look on it. And pretty soon I'm going to get I'm going to get an orange band to go along with this different place because the different place white and orange along along other array of colors as well. Also, if you look very closely to this watch face, you got a compass right here and down below the watch, and you got um the, the temperature on the top there, and then you got some mess here on the side. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but the um the hands are blocking it. But overall. Now let's get to, um, this is here. You pull down, and here's all your messages that you got here. So these, these are all messages here. I'm going to try to go down quick because I don't want to seeing what I have. So, and if you want to, you can clear them all. But I'm not going to do that right now because that, you know, don't need to do that. You don't need to do on that. So you can take it back on down and then get out of that. And then here's the other tray below as well. Um, all right, here we go. This is the signal. What's white at the signal? What's blue here on my right? That is your Wi-Fi signal. This noise for this here, this butt here, below the below the, the phone signal here, is the phone locator or noise. If you press that right there, it will be if your phone is lost or any device for that matter. If, if you got an iPad, with, oh yeah, this watch only works with iPhones and i and i and apple products only it, it, it doesn't work on android if you got any apple products this is what it used for to find any of your apple products it makes a loud pitch noise a few minutes ago i had to be had to, had to be do this video because this noise cut, cut off my phone so i didn't want to do that again all right and you see this red button here to blow there that is the vibration the vibration is off i only use the vibration only when i'm sleeping at night when in the moment I get up, I cut it off, and um, and here are other apps as well. That on on, uh, on the other side there is a um, I'm not saying what that is. That that's a, that's a that's a smiley face, a crying face, and it's kind of like a um, um, twins right there. I'm not saying what that is. I can't think of what, what it is off the bat. I'm not gonna mention it. And then there's a couple more apps there. That's the the dark mode, the flashlight, the um, either that's the plane airplane mode there. Um, I'm not saying sure that that teardrop. I'm not saying. I, I, I think that means do. I believe water do. I believe. And then there's your air, your air signal there. This is what you. This is what you use to increase the um the, your letters and numbers. That's what that's for. And that's for ears. I, I think that's for hearing impaired. I believe. And then and then right here the problem is it's edit. You can press edit, and it gets all. You get you all that them, them, them red dots. Them red dots and for. If you if you no longer want that on your watch or your phone, your phone does it as well. So if you don't want it on your watch, you press that, that edit, and it edit all these, and then you can press it, and, 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 and it will remove that particular app or um, widget off your watch. So I'm cutting it off because I don't need it on. And there we go. And now let's get to battery. All right, as you can see, the 50 57 percent. Um. This watch has been off. This watch has been off the charger since day Thursday. It been off the charger since Tuesday. This watch has the ability to last up to two, two and a half days. Fifty-seven percent is not bad for two days. If you don't run any app in the background, or if you, if you don't have this vibrator thing on, if this is on, that fifty-seven percent will probably be more like 30%, 37%. It'll take your power down that fast. So only activate that vibrator, then that, that red button only at night when you are sleeping, not in the morning when you are up. If you're up in the morning, if you ain't going to work, fine. But, but if you are at work, do not use that. Cut that off because it saves on battery. Dark mode. Now, I ain't got on dark mode yet, but I, I, I think I'm cut on dark mode at some point. Dog mode is not on right now, but man, I mean, this watch is by far the greatest watch 
I ever had. I ain't got no problems with it. I've been enjoying it the last month and a couple days that I, that I had the pleasure of enjoying it. And um, I hope I explained everything to you guys what this watch does. I know I have to mumble, mumbling here and there because I, cause, cause I had to catch myself on certain things that I was trying not to say to mess up the video, but I believe I did. But if I did, you should get it. You should get a good understanding of what I was trying to say about this watch in particular. Because this watch is excellent on battery. It's better than the iPhone 14 Pro and the Pro Max. Battery is not that good. I mean, the battery battery power is good, but not that good at all. So you so this watch had more battery power to save than the iPhone 14 Pro Max and. Every, and every day, I, every day, I, I got to keep this phone on a charger probably most of the day. Well, not most of the day, but kind of like half the day. If I'm at work, I have to keep it on the charger. I, I can take it off the charger when I'm sitting, sitting down playing with it. But if I'm not playing with the phone, I got to put it back on the charger so it can, so, 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 so it can stay up within power. But then I take it off the, I, I take the phone off the charger when I leave work and I play on it and the power and the power on the, on, on this phone kind of dwindled down kind of like every other, maybe five, no, probably every, I'll say every 10 minutes wasted playing on this phone, your battery power dwindles from your phone. It's like every 10 minutes, which is still not bad, but that's, but that, but that's kind of like it's bad, but it ain't that bad. So, 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 so the pro, the pro and the pro max are pretty good battery power. That's if you're not playing with any of the apps on your phone, like music or um, going to Facebook, going to Instagram, Snapchat, uh, TikTok, where most of those um, apps use video um, videos constantly. That runs the power down. So sometimes you might want to really stay off that um, off those platforms as much as possible, uh, especially if you're going to be bidding on it, you know what I'm saying? But... But but TikTok has become fun lately, and so that's why you see a lot, a lot of people going into TikTok a whole lot. But man, but overall, y'all, this watch, man, I'm, 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 this watch, the iWatch Ultra is what exactly what it is. It's ultra. It's dynamic and fantastic, and I can't complain about the experience I've had with this watch so far. And like I said, and see, okay, hold on. See, it says achievement right there. Move, move, go to 200 percent, 200 percent as high as you can get. And um, I've enjoyed this watch. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Also, let me explain this band. See, this band, this band here came off a iWatch Ultra lookalike. And thank God that this band fit this watch because the Ultra look, I mean, did that, 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 that fake iWatch Ultra look exactly like this watch, but there are a few differences. On this watch that the that 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 the ultra don't have. That I mean the ultra has everything on, on this watch on this ultra watch is complete, but on the ultra lookalike, it's some differences on that watch that that I, that I let you know between the real and the fake. It's a different. Trust me on that. So if you, if, if, if any of you guys out there got the off the iWatch ultra lookalike, bad choice in my opinion. But if you but if that what you desire. Go ahead and go for it. I can't tell you what you what you can and cannot buy, but I do know that this watch here has been very, very good. Oh, one more thing. I thought I'm gonna talk about the update. Okay. Uh in, in the coming months, probably in August or September, they're supposed to be the um the the, the I watch um um oh I mean what, what, what I think called watch watch OS. 10 and coming up in the near future and I, and, and, and I watch OS supposed to bring more updates to this watch um, new watch faces um, supposed to bring more apps supposed to bring a whole new different um, face faces for, for, for this watch here I mean everything everything, everything gonna be new and for as uh, 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 for as technology and uh, and for tech concern and whatever I'm looking for, um, what that word am I looking for? I can't think of off the back. 
uh, 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 um, program. Yeah, yeah, programs. If for as program concern, it's supposed to have a new programs. Supposed to have new watch faces. Um, more tech for the watch. Like I said, the pink. If it's supposed to have some, some new more updates for the pink button to use here. So I can't wait for I, iOS 10 for the watch to show, and and and, and iOS 17. For the iPhone, it's going to be some new updates as well for the phone as well as the watch. Both updates are supposed to be coming out between August and September of this year. So you guys be waiting for that because I can't wait for this watch to get the, uh, to get the new update as well. Um, this watch is supposed to have a chip that's almost similar to the um, it's almost similar to the A10 chip that's in the iWatch 14 Pro Max. Port have a port have a port have the same chip, but the chip in the watch is smaller than the chip that's in the in, in the phone. So I just want to let you guys know that I hope I hope I actually explain everything to you guys overall. So again, this is your boy, the Almighty Green Talents, bringing you guys the update and my recap and review of the iWatch Ultra, iWatch Ultra, and I am out of here. Peace.